Well, here we go. This is a, a um, radio that came out <clears throat> probably around about the peak of the shortwave listening um, interest in the general population. Um, this is a National Panasonic um, RF1350 BA um, from the probably early 1980s, I'd, tell you, I'd say. During that time, of course, there was a lot of companies bought out, um, you know, many um, shortwave radios to encourage people to listen to around the world. And uh, this is one of the National Panasonic offerings. Um, National Panasonic even bought out many shortwave radios in the era. And um, um, let's, have, let's have a close look at this one. This is a five band radio. Um, you can see the band change switch there. We have FM, we've got a medium wave band and three short wave bands. Beside that, we've got a fine tuning control knob. Then of course, we've got our main tuning control knob. Uh, below that, we have the volume control and separate bass and treble control. So you can tailor the audio uh, pretty well, much to what you like. Um, very large speaker, um, giving good audio and a little button there for the dial light. Moving up to the dial scale, we've got quite a good um, um, sort of uh, signal tuning meter there, which also um, doubles as a, a battery level indicator and um, a slide wheel dial. And there, there you can actually see a standard FM broadcast band, uh, 88 to 108. Um, standard medium wave broadcast band, around about 530 kilohertz to uh, just over 1600 kilohertz. And then shortwave uh, is divided into three bands, as I said before, starting in around about um, 1.6 kilohertz um, up to around about just over, I'll say about 4.8 kilohertz. Uh, shortwave 2 was there 4.5 kilohertz up through to just over 12 kilohertz. And then shortwave 3, um, 12 kilohertz up through to 30 um, kilo, uh, megahertz, I beg your pardon, should have said megahertz all along there. So um, there we go. Um, the dial wraps around up the top, as you can see there. Um, 17 transistors, and we've got the dial again there. Good telescopic antenna, and uh, I'll just turn the radio around a little bit so we can have a look at nice carry handle there. And on the back, you have your oops, not the phone again. You have your AC input, um, and there's a you know, National Panasonic model number RF1350 BA. And uh, you've got battery um, there, and basically on this side of the radio, we've got an external antenna con connection there, earth connection. And you've also got earphones and um, I think um, trying to see what the other one is, external speaker. Very hard to see uh, through this the phone while I'm talking. All right. So there we go. This that's a a, a, a look at what the radio is. Um, here we have. This is Japan radio. And um, let's look down on to, oh, let me think, I'll just tune down plenty of, plenty of stations there, and uh, coming down here we should get to uh, the ABC from Northern Territory, should be around about here somewhere. There it is. And then you can just find tin radio. Now, as I said, these there were many um, 
radios of this particular type bought out by various companies, Sony, Panasonic, Philips, um, just to name a few there. A lot were five band, um, as probably uh, enthusiasts could tell you, there's uh, any number of, uh, especially Panasonic with a five band, uh, band switch. And um, yeah, all I suppose just to uh, encourage people to uh, have a good radio and to be able to listen to the world. Well, there we go. There's the National Panasonic model RF1350BA. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the if there was a um, a very similar model in Europe, uh, which may, which uh, dispensed with one of the short wave bands and uh, included a long wave band, um, as quite often happened. But um, this was the radio that was available here in Australia. Um, I think also the United States uh, had um, uh, pretty well the same uh, configuration in the radio. So, um, and of course, uh, probably Asia as well. So, I hope you've enjoyed this quick presentation tonight. Um, and thanks for watching. Cheers.